great. This button is your chance to make a splash. August 2nd is the 20th birthday of Baby Residence's Victoria Symphony Splash, and you could be the guest conductor. Simply buy a $5 button at any participating retailer, then take a photo of yourself wearing it. The splashier, the better. Visit victoriasymphony.ca and follow the upload instructions. The winner will get a conducting lesson from Maestra Tanya Miller and a guest spot on the barge. Bayview Symphony Splash is brought to you by A. Herbal Essences brings you another great escape. Hydralicious. A whole new discovery. New Hydralicious from Herbal Essences. Swirls of heavenly shampoo. So creamy. And a new targeted conditioner for lusciously hydrated hair. New Herbal Essences Hydralicious in three hydrating formulas. The girls gotta have options. Fantasies may vary. Luscious hair guaranteed. Huh? Whoa. Coraline is a magical tale. It was amazing. Leonard Morton raves, it's the best 3D movie I've ever seen. It made you feel like you were in the movie. It was so cool. It's Godzilla. Ow. It's dazzling. I love it. A visual marvel. You probably think this world is a dream come true, but you're wrong. A remarkable feat of imagination. Coraline. You're not my mother. From the director of The Nightmare Before Christmas, Coraline. Available on DVD July 21st. Here's what's happening on the island. Shakespeare outside of the Lansdowne campus of Camosun College is being done with presentations of Julius Caesar and Twelfth Night. To find out more, check out the website. One of Victoria's most fun events and one of the largest events is the annual TD Canada Trust Moss Street Paint-In. It's happening once again this year. All the artists lined up and down the street July 18th from noon until 4. That's what's happening on the island. A soaps up. Hello. Can you believe I forgot to tell you about a most important birthday? Yesterday, July 15th, One Life turned 41. It was July 15th on Wednesday. Good God, time flies when you're having fun. It's been nominated as Outstanding Daytime Serial four times and won once in 2002. And I think it's high time our soap won another. It's almost there, don't you think? There's a lot to love about the show and some to hate. And very few of you like Stacy, even as the requisite villainess. And now, with it looking as though she may be pregnant, you're even less impressed. Spoiler alert. Holly from Toronto writes, it will suck when the baby is Rex's. It's way too predictable for her to get pregnant. I hope the writers don't ruin Rex and Gigi. When everyone turns their back on her, Spencer Truman will take her under his wing. Hmm, interesting theory. I wouldn't be surprised if Gigi doesn't believe Stacy and then there's a little accident caused by Gigi that causes a miscarriage and endless guilt for Gigi. Whew. I also think the show is setting us up for a Gigi Skylar romance with Rex moving on to someone else, but I could be wrong. Now for scene of the week. One Life's writers are pretty smart in some ways. They realize we need some quiet, sweet, real moments between the drama and the sex. And this week, they gave us some in the form of a Manning family breakfast. You hungry? Sit right here, chow down. Get ready for your swim lesson later. For real? For real. It's going to be dog paddling by this afternoon, I'm telling you. Thank you. Mom's up. Time for morning boys. <gasps> Good morning, Mom. Dad made pancakes. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. So, uh, anything left for me? Always. <laughs> that almost made me wish that Blair and Todd would reunite. Almost. If Taya wasn't around. Hmm. Have yourself a great weekend. I'll see you Monday. Get interactive with your favorite soap at ATV.ca. Did you not hear me? I said you make me want to puke. You want me, Rex. You feel something for me. I know you do. What, what we had in that moment was based on lies. No. No, you you took care of me. and I cooked for you and we, we laughed together. That was real. You told Gigi that you would let Shane die unless she ditched me. You made me think that I had lost her. You broke me down so much and got into my bed when I was at my lowest. Is that the best you can hope for? No, you're the best I can hope for. I would do anything. I just want you. I, knew, I thought that since the day you stood up for me when those kids were picking on me. That was a million years ago. We were teenagers. No, I dropped all my most personal things, my diary, my tampons, and there you were, the most popular guy. And you didn't care. You just picked them up and 
You put him in my bag for me, and you just gave me the sweetest smile. I don't, I don't know how to tell you this, Stacy, but, but I don't remember anything from that day. I barely remember you from back then. Well, maybe you do somewhere. Maybe it's just all pent up, Rex. You threw me on the floor at Ultraviolet, and you wanted me so bad. You even said it. And I know you're gonna feel you're gonna want me again. I know the truth, Rex. You don't hate me. You want me. You don't love Gigi. You love me. Look, it may be none of my business, but giving a kid a lovely parting gift isn't the same thing as being in her life. You want to judge me? Go for it. But you have no idea how much I love my family. I would do anything for Destiny and for Sean. Yeah, as long as it doesn't interfere with your schedule. I have a career, a responsibility. I can't just tell my patients, oh, I'm sorry, I'm all booked up right now. You'll just have to deal with being an invalid. Is that what it is? Or maybe it's your need to keep up your golden boy image. It has nothing to do with image. Look, knowing that I can help these people, it, that's what gets me out of bed every morning. Well, then, it seems as if you are torn between what you're trying to achieve and your family. And if they really matter to you the way you say they do, maybe you should try fixing things with them. What's this? I'm almost afraid to ask this question, but did you have sex with Todd because you knew Taya would walk in on you? No! But I'm telling you, it was just pure luck that <laughs> it happened. I... Well, it serves her right. She shows up at Star's wedding. She comes over here and ruins my morning, bragging about how she's sharing a bed with Todd. Well, that's nothing for either one of you to brag about. She told a whole courtroom full of people. Something that I told her in confidence. Oh, that nauseating bit about Todd being the love of your life. All right, you know what? She's the one that said all of that. I just... I agreed to it. Anyway, he runs off now every night to be with her. You know what? You know what? what am I supposed to just sit here and act like it's okay and be happy about that and as she goes on about how the relationship's all meaningful and how they cuddle. I mean, ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all, okay? And if that's immature, well then, fine. That's who I am. You felt like you lost your power, so you slept with Todd to get it back. That's sick. Yes. But it makes sense in a sick kind of way. You don't want Todd, but you don't want anybody else to have him. Is it good for you? It's your turn. You expect me to do what you just did? Forget it. I'm not a trained professional. Bend your knees a little bit. Aim just below where you want to hit. Allow for a slight up kick. If the target was wearing a belt, you know where I'd be aiming. When you're ready, just breathe and squeeze. Feel better now? Not really. Me neither. The song by I'm Paul Beckham and Paul Anderson song created July oh 17, 2009. The song is going to be called Are You Still In Love With Me? Using guitar chords G7 and D. Wow. Well, it's not like I'm going to be happy. Are you still love? Do you still love? Do you still I love me? Are you still loving? Living, loving, loving. Or do you still love me? Are you still in love with me? Are you still in love with me? I'm with love. Well, love, 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 love. How can you love me? Here's what's happening. On the island, why don't you go fly a kite with everybody else?